All right, hey YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Chris or SwagXPL here. So today, guys, I'm gonna be reacting to 100,000 subscribers. Um, it's something that I've always wanted, you know, but it's something that I never thought would happen. You know, it's it's a crazy thing that all started in the middle of Black Ops 2, I think four or five years ago. We were sitting in my friend's garage. It was me, my brother, my best friend, and my, my brother's best friend. We were sitting in his garage, and we were playing Black Ops 2. And I remember watching a 100-plus gameplay or something like that. I think it was the Kill Show. I don't know if you guys remember him. He was a Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2 you know, pub stopper. And um, it was just it was just wild because I was like, man, I really want to post gameplays. You know, I really want to do this YouTube thing. But for fun, though. I think, okay, I'll sh uh, right now, I'll either put a clip in there of the first YouTube video I've ever, I ever uploaded. Like, ever uploaded. Hey guys, what's going on? Spike XP on here, and today I'm be saying, and welcome to my channel, guys. This is, I'm pretty excited. Um, first time starting YouTube. And I, today I'm just going to be talking about, you know, about how I, why I started YouTube and what I'm going to be posting and. Today I'm pretty excited because I just got my HDP VR 2. I mean, it's pretty exciting. It took a while for the editing to get done, but... I think I, I can find it, maybe. If not, then you won't be able to see it. Hold on, my snooze is literally about to go off right now. I gotta turn this off. You're currently four off. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Now, I, I won't cry, but... I ain't no B as niche, but... Nah, so it started off four years ago, right? And we were sitting in the garage. I, I said, I told my friend, I was like, bro, let's make a YouTube channel, like, together. I was like, let's make this together, man. And um, we ended up making the YouTube channel. I, my my gamer tag at the time was XX Cali Swag XX. And, you know, it, it was just, it was, oh, I can't believe I'm about to hit 100,000, bro. I'm too off. I'll get to the story in a sec, because I'm really going to break it down for you guys. But I'm too off, bro. Come on. I'm too off. Someone be nice and just come on, hit that subscription. Come on, baby. Two more. One more. Oh my god. Oh, this is four years of heart. Oh my. Hundred thousand people. One hundred thousand, bro. Six digits, man. Crazy. I'm not about to. I'm not about to cry. I'm not about to cry, bro. I'm not about to cry, yo. That's great. A hundred thousand. You guys understand how many people that is? That's insane. One hundred thousand people were like, "Yo, I like this guy's content. Let me subscribe." All right. Let me get back to the story. I almost. I got a little emotional there, bro. Like that's six. I gotta wake up my brother. Fuck it. Two hours later. Oh. Oh, I just ran in there and screamed at him, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. Back to what I was saying, man. Um, it all started out, you know, we were my friend were like, let's let's make a YouTube channel together. And we ended up we ended up making it. And it was Swag XBL. I don't know, guys, I have no idea how we came up with that name. Um I have no idea. You know, it's I've gotten roasted about it over the years. It is what it is. You know, I couldn't change it because it just started going. I just started going with it. So it was just kind of like a, a I, there's nothing I can do. But um, yeah, man, it, it, it we it started off from there. I started pub stopping stuff like that. I got to 1,000 subscribers. I I probably had that. I'll probably show like clips in there like now. Boom, of me hitting uh 1,000 subscribers, and that was really special. You know, that was really that was really special to me. A hundred, a 1,000 people, like four digits, that was lit. Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's your main man, Swag Experience here, coming to you live with the live Q&A. Today, what I got for you guys is a, I don't know, gameplay. I don't really know what's gonna be, 
Um, so you get, you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's gonna be KEM because I'm Swag XPL. So, um, and then you know, I started doing content stuff like that. I was at 2,000 subscribers when I went into college. So I was a freshman in college. I was at 2K subs. Not I posted like every two or three days. Um, that wasn't anything like spectacular, but you know, posting every two or three days. Uh, of the double chem strike, you know, of a, with commentary and music over it, it was just, it wasn't too serious for me. You know, I ended up taking a month break while I was in college from YouTube. I think it was almost two months. I, I wasn't, you know, like, you gotta, being in the dorms and trying to do YouTube, shit, it don't work out, bro. It just does it because you're just, you're spending time with your roommates. You're always with them. And, you know, it's really hard to have privacy because our room was literally exquisite. It Like, usually dorm rooms had six people all throughout um like it was, it was six to a like to a, a room but they, there's three rooms so there's two in each and so and ours was exquisite it was like the it was like the on the third floor only there's only two people in there and then we had a full fridge full bathroom you know oh we had it all bro like tv we had everything bro like it was lit so it was really hard to have privacy man and i remember doing commentaries in the dorms like early on and you know my roommate would walk in and i would literally have to hide hide my blue snowball because i was so i was like they knew about it but like it was like i felt like it was embarrassing because it wasn't even that serious you know um and you the money was never a factor you know i remember showing my roommate i got paid from youtube i think it was like three dollars and 25 cents and i told him i was like hey bro we can go to mcdonald's get a couple of mcdoubles you know it, that was cool to me like you know it was fun but then I took two like two months off, man. It just it wasn't the same for me. It wasn't something that you know I was passionate about. And then I had hurt my shoulder my freshman year because I went to other school. I went to that university for basketball, and I ended up tearing my shoulder, my labrum. Had to get surgery, and now I'm in my dorm room, you know, alone. No one's there, you know. I'm I'm literally sad. Like I I'm out for six months, and I'm like, man, I need something to do. Like I need. To do something or else I'm gonna go insane and so I decided to do to keep doing YouTube um, so I started posting again more often just regular commentaries and then I was like dude this is this sucks you know my first two like my first three or four advanced warfare videos did horrible I mean like 20 likes type stuff and I was like man something's got to give something's got to change and I was like what vi okay, I told myself I said what videos do I love watching that I could frequently post that I could be good at. But it's something I would, like, I, if I could sit down and watch my own videos, then I'm doing something right. You know, because if you're a YouTuber and you can't sit down and watch your own videos, and bro, just stop making, like, what are you doing, fam? But, um, 100,000, that's insane. Then I decided, I want to do live comms. I want to, you know, I want to be that guy. You know, of course, I, I saw Elite Shot, I saw the Market J, I saw a lot of those guys. But I always, throughout the years, enjoyed live gameplays, you know, live Moabs, live nuclears, anything like that with face cam, because that was entertaining for me. You know, I didn't enjoy watching people run in a party, a six-man party, and get a 200. Like that wasn't fun to watch. Like I don't care. That doesn't prove like you're not. You don't have any skill. That doesn't prove anything to me. You spawn like no. So like. That's when I was like, man, I really want to do this, you know, live gameplay thing. And I remember, I'm, I'll probably, I'll probably put in the video right now my first ever live commentary. Uh, I'll put it right now. Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris with Swag Spiel here, capping this flag right now, going for some live DNA bomb gameplays. I uh, hope that I can drop a little DNA bomb. I mean, you never know against some randoms. They're sitting in the bushes. Oh my gosh, man. They're sitting in the bushes, dude. Really? That was my first ever live commentary. And I, and it and it did really well. I got 80 likes, um, 500 views. I was like, man, people really enjoyed this live gameplay. But the thing is, I had a slow-ass laptop that could barely, I mean, barely render the video. Um, and when I would try to, try to record the gameplay and the face cam at the same time, my computer would just, sometimes it would just freeze and just not work. So, um, it, I, I worked through it. You know, I would literally try to record it every single time. I had a webcam that wasn't HD. Um, I think it's in the garage. It wasn't even HD, bro. Like, it was really the come up, man. And, uh, you know, I, and I was still playing Advanced Warfare on the 360. 
So then I ended up getting an Xbox One. My brother got an Xbox One. That fool had cash back in the day. And he was he cashed on the Xbox One. And I was I was hyped. I was like, bro, you gotta let me play. So I switched to Xbox One. Finally, it looks like people can actually watch my videos because it, it was actually HD, you know. And um, I told myself, man, I really need to start making good content. And I really need to step up my YouTube game because I, I want to make this something. You know, I don't know where it's going to take me. I don't know how many subs. You know. I, literally, I literally said that, bro. Like, I literally prayed on that. I said, God, I said, God, whatever this YouTube thing is, take it to places that I never thought it would, you know, and I just left it at that. I didn't ask for a million. So I didn't ask for anything, bro. Like I just, I just said, I just, I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do with this, and I'm gonna see what I can, what's gonna happen. And I ended up, I ended up making it. And so, I was at seven K subs. It was in April, I think. And I ended up, you know, I was doing the solo thing. It was just basically me, you know. I was in Carnage as a commentator, you know, uh, nothing special. That's my old clan channel. And um, you know, we worked through it there, man. And all of a sudden, I met. I I needed a thumbnail one day, right? I was like, I I really, I, cause I like I love thumbnails, like, but I didn't know how to make them. I you know, I suck. I'm not creative. So you know, I asked. And there was a link chat on Skype, and I didn't know any of these YouTubers. I just got put into it. And I said, Can anyone make me a thumbnail? Uh, some some kid named Right Away, you know, commented back and was like, He's like, Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll make you a thumbnail, bro. I, I love your vids or something. I don't know what he said. He's a, you know he's a low key a fan, but. Um, yeah, so he, he asked, he made me a thumbnail and we became cool after that. And then all of a sudden legend of cotton, um, he's one of my good YouTube friends. I've known him forever, but we kind of, we kind of lost touch throughout, um, advanced warfare and, uh, in, in, uh, cause I knew him in ghost and also in black ops two, but we kind of lost contact in advanced warfare or not advanced warfare, the game before ghost, ghost and advanced warfare. Yeah. So, and then in the, in May, he added me to a Skype chat, and it was Dr. Pineapples and Legend of Cotton. And those are my probably my really good YouTube. Like, those are my best friends on YouTube, bro. Like, and uh, they added me, and they also added Raid right Away, too. So then, uh, then us four just, we literally Skype called every single time. That's what YouTubers got to understand, bro. If you don't have a group of friends, of YouTube friends, who have the same mindset as you as to where they want to go, and are, have the creative minds and the drive to do YouTube, if you put that together with four or five people, bro, that's unstoppable, man. You know, right away's at 40K, Khan's at 13K, Tony's at 129K, and like, then look where I'm, I had 100K. You know, like, when you have a group of YouTube friends that can really motivate you day in and day out, I talk to those guys every single day, man. Every single day. And when you have, that's what the people, that's the people, that's the problem with uh, YouTubers. If you try to do a solo by yourself saying, you know, basically fuck everybody, then you're not going to make it because you're just going to get demotivated. You're not going to have passion for it. There's been days where I sit, I sit up there and say, man, I really don't want to make a YouTube video. And then right away or Legend of Kind or they just say, you want that 100K? You know, you better get up and do it. You know? And so it went along and then Green Goblin, I already knew Luke back in the day. But he kind of got he kind of started hanging out on the Skype calls, and then we all started chilling, and it was just like it was just the fi basically the five of us, bro. And Quantum FT hopped in there too as well, and we just started chilling, bro. The Skype calls throughout Advanced Warfare, just giving each other ideas, feeding off each other, and by September of Advanced Warfare, uh, last year, one year ago, I was at I hit ten thousand subscribers, and that was huge for me because the road from Guys, the hardest part about YouTube is when you're going from when you're going from 1,000 subscribers to 10,000. I think personally was the hardest road. It took me the longest. Granted, it took me eight months to get a thousand subs, but it took me almost two years to go from 1,000 to 10,000. So as a YouTuber, if you're in between that, keep working, bro. Like you're gonna like once you get to 10k literally got easy it literally was it started flowing and it was just it was just good man and then i started being more a part of carnage you know they really helped me out in the beginning of black ops 3 but i had 10,000 subscribers in september and i made goals i made a goal by the end of this year that i would have 100,000 some people may have laughed at that you know my and then 
you know, then then all of a sudden Tan Kid started getting in the mix. And he was Tan Kid, I gotta give a shout out to bro. He's literally the smartest person I've ever, you know, I've like on YouTube I've ever met. Like this dude is literally a genius. He changed the game for the our entire group. He he brought that he brought uh you know like we all had that drive to get somewhere, but he also put that, you know, that uh I wouldn't say intelligence, but he like he like put a little something in there that would like push us. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's hard to explain, but like he gave us a new set of focuses, some a different mindset towards YouTube, but with that same passion. So shout out to Tanky for that. But you know he he put goals on Twitter. He said uh or like like people to guess where I'll be at. He said he said I'd be at 60k by the end of Black Ops 3. I thought that was really good for me. I was like man, I really want to get there. He said um right away I'd be at 40k. You know he said I'd be at 60k. So I'm like. Okay, I respect it, but for me, I saw myself as getting to 100K. I, I really thought that it could happen, man. And um, Black Ops 3 started. You know, I was still going to university, um, but I wasn't living in the dorms. My second year, I did not live in the dorms, so YouTube became a lot easier for me. As it started transitioning, Black Ops 3 did good for me. All my live comps started kicking in. And then what really kicked off was when I randomly, I, I, I tweeted at the market, Jay. I'm like, bro, do you want to do a vid? And I, and I, I, I know I didn't, I didn't even, no, 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 that, that's not the story. I tweeted it out and said, can I get a follow, bro? He said, yeah, for sure, bro. Cause I always comment on his videos, stuff like that. I was always a huge fan over the years. And I waited four or five months. You know, I didn't bother him. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't like on his, you know, nuts about making a video. You know? I randomly one day I was like, Jay, you want to make a video for my channel? You know, it'd be something cool for my subscribers. And he said, yeah, bro. And when he said that, changed the game. It literally changed the game for me because now I was associated with the person, the type of content. He's the biggest, a million subscribers, and now I was associated with him. Like, that was, and he's the most, like, the way he is on his videos is the same way he is in person. That's what makes him a good YouTube. That's why people love watching him. He's the same way, bro. Same good guy, man. But, you know, I just started, kept doing content, started just, kept grinding, man. Got to 50K in May, got to 100,000. September 29th, bro. Like that's and like I took this semester off because of college. First of all, I didn't enjoy the university I was at. I wasn't having fun at all. I wasn't, you know, it wasn't something I was really and I wasn't ambitious. I wasn't passionate about what I was doing there. I didn't know what I wanted to be in at university, so I kind of just stopped taking classes, take classes, you know, and um. You know, the money, the money was never the motive for me in the beginning. But, you know, I'm very proud that I can show for something, you know, to my mom. You know, she really supports me with this thing. Yeah, she sees the money and she loves it, but she loves how passionate and how happy I am every time I wake up. You know, guys, there was a time in college freshman year where, you know, I, we went out to eat. They, we would always go out to eat, but, you know, I usually never had the money. I remember one time, bro, I was so discouraged. I We were at, where were we at? I think Raising Cane's. This is Chicken Place. And I went to go swipe my card. And it, and it got declined. It said I didn't have any money in it. And, you know, it was a packed place. There was a bunch of people behind me. And that's probably the worst, the worst feeling, man, is getting your card declined. I can tell you now, I, I, I'm not even, I'm not boasting or anything like that, but, that won't happen again, bro. I'm like, that was. I look back on that, so embarrassed. But that 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 drove me, not the money for YouTube, but just it drove me to make something of myself and to be passionate about something. Cause this YouTube thing, I'm truly passionate about it, man. Hundred thousand. There's a lot of people who laughed at this, guys. A lot of people who laughed at this, man. And now we're at six digits. You know, but I want to say thank you guys for all the support. Um, I don't know how many likes we can shoot for. You know, if you if you feel like you can, you can drop a like on the vid. If not, it's okay. Um, but I what I want you guys to do, if you stay to the end of the video, comment what subscriber count you found me at, how you found me, and why you like me as a YouTuber. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for all the support. I'll have a stream later tonight. We'll be celebrating. I'll be grinding to one level 1,000 and stuff like that. But yeah, bro. Six digits, man. I'm probably going to tell my mom it's like that amount. Six digits is crazy.
Thank you guys for the support. I love you guys. You changed my life for the better. But now, we gotta grind to a million. Let's go, yos. Stay humble, stay blessed, guys. Make sure you subscribe to that road to a million subscribers. That's crazy I can say that, you know. That's the, that's the new big goal. I love you guys. Let's make Infinite Warfare a crazy year. I'll see you guys later, man. Deuces.